Pete, Pete and Lloyd, thanks for joining us. No problem. Pete, a clean sheet, a win away from home, it doesn't get much better than that for an afternoon. A well, solid performance. Um, again, caught him on the break last 10-15 minutes. Some lads who we took off weren't happy, but we got the result uh, to come here. But the three points is uh, quite pleasing. So we've got them in about two, two weeks, haven't we? But 11 days. And obviously a slightly different looking uh, back four. But again, they seem solid again today. Is that something you've been working on in training? No. Is that just something that's evolved over, over time no, to, to bring we'll, a couple we'll, of people we'll, we'll in? We've got seven, eight defenders, so we'll give them. We work with them all. It's not, and it's for each game, whichever pairing we think is more suitable for, for the opposition. And we just said in there, just because we won today, it might not be the same eleven at start next week. And the pleasing thing for us too is the last couple of weeks, whoever's gone on as a sort. Yeah. He's gone on and had a score or set a goal. It's nice for Dale get a clean sheet. Uh, Pete, you, obviously you guys made a, a couple of changes uh, today. Keenan Quans coming in for Lee Wilshire. Jeremy Ciasolo took uh, Prince Polo's place. What was the thought behind the change? And were you impressed with those, those guys today in the new roles? Lee was kind of a bit of a knock. Um, Prince has gone to guys. It's all good luck to Prince, but um, Jeremy's just come in and done a job. He's told us too we could do it. We've given him the opportunity today, he's had a good game, but still got another 18 to go, haven't we? So. And obviously, there could have been a goal earlier on with the great run from Bakari down there, with Rio just missing that, that touch in. Is it, is it a little bit of confidence for him, or is it just that when the goals are come, he's going to get another bag full? Who, Bakari or Rio? Both. Uh, I don't know. No, not really. Well, listen, we're, we're quite happy to spread the goals about. We don't, listen, we don't get too giddy when we win. I know we have a mess about behind the scenes, but when we lose or draw we don't get too downbeat these are a good young bunch of lads who will improve but sometimes we'll have develop the odd hiccup and we'll take that the disappointment of going out of the cup the other night the lads just got to training we knuckled down and then we've come to a place hour and a half away a couple of two hours for some of them and they've rolled, it, rolled the sleeves up a bit of an arm wrestle but we've took our chances and the lads who've come on have changed the game so we're sitting there at half time if, we're still nil nil, 60 65 minutes. We'll throw subs on and uh, be happy with a draw, but we've got no money in them, so. Lloyd, uh, apart from Stanford, obviously before Christmas, we've been fairly good on the away form, but I think we came into this fixture thinking, you know, we've got to be more difficult to beat on the road. Do you think there's a, a particular aspect of how we play or set up away from home that means we're more difficult to beat? No, it's just the players we've got. Well, I mean, we've got, we've got players who are tricky, players who can keep the ball players with pace so you know you, me and Pete actually don't pick the team until we've arrived at the ground looked at the conditions looked at the setup and obviously like any other team in this league we do our homework on the opposition or as best we can so it's not just picking the first 11 and let's go and see what happens there is a bit of thought process behind it and uh, a bit of planning like I said we might come across as the jokers but between Saturday and Saturdays we'll do our homework uh, we've got a solid little squad um, it's up for them to keep pushing each other to make them better as a team. And when it comes to Saturday or Tuesday night, we win. Well, uh, good luck at uh, training this week, and uh, we've got another game for obviously Saturday. And uh, hopefully, the weather conditions might be a bit more kinder with a bit less uh, wind and uh, other external elements to a football team. Obviously, um, there's 4G pitch at Sutton Coldfield next Saturday. Does that change the approach at all? Yeah, they don't have to reverse the drain it, do they? To change our approach? Well, we, we train on acid too, so most teams now <laughs> train no on acid. So it may give them a slight advantage, but nothing. Listen, at the end of the day, we'll turn up, and if they're better than us, they should win. If not, then hopefully we can grab the three points. Well, a good win today, and we'll see you next week. No problem. Let's hope so. Hope so. <laughs> we are GAE, said we are GAE.